Hello, and welcome to Emma's ESL English. Today we're talking about something that came up in a class with my Turkish student. My Turkish student kept responding, me either. And I realized that normally for a native speaker, we would be saying, me too. So what we're looking at today is the grammar around me too, when we agree with someone, or me neither, me either, or nor. Mostly, we're going to do this through examples with a little test at the end. Yes, there is a test. <laughs> Don't panic. I give the answers right after I give you the questions. It's not very difficult. <laughs> okay. It's normal when we're having conversations, we quite often agree with each other. And what we're looking at today is agreeing, but in two different situations. In one situation, we agree from a positive perspective. So me also, and the other one, the negative, also not me. And that's where the real difference is. And you know, native speakers were so lazy. So if we can say it in a really short way, then we will. And that's really where this comes from. Rather than answering with a whole sentence, it's very easy for us to say, have you had dinner already? Yes, I've had dinner already. But it takes too long. <laughs> It takes too long and we're so lazy. So we would just say, nah, <laughs> not yet. That's it. First example, I had dinner already. It's positive. It's a me also situation. I had dinner already. And the answer is me too. So the two of us, both of us have already had dinner. I had dinner already. Me too. Next one. I hate that new TV show. Me too. So even though the sentence is negative, I hate something, the answer is still me too. Tricky. Next one. I'd rather have a friend than an enemy. Me too. So I'd rather have. Of course, we can say me too. I'd prefer a friend if we're making a full sentence, but me too works. All right. That seems simple. Great. Positive. Me too. Got it. <laughs> okay, let's try the opposite side. I can't play golf. Okay, how would you respond? If you play golf, this doesn't work for you. <laughs> those of us, and I suspect there are more of us than there are of you, those of us who can't play golf, this is for us. Okay, so <laughs> I can't play golf. What would you say? How would you respond? Hmm. A little bit of a trap there. Not with me too. <laughs> okay, I can't play golf. Me too. It does work. It is possible to use me too. But most native speakers would say me neither or me either. In fact, both of them are exactly the same. It seems like me either might be a little more common in America. But realistically, there's no difference between them. Neither and either and neither and either all depends on your family, your upbringing and the situation. So it's even possible for someone from the same family, same background, sometimes to say me neither and sometimes to say me neither. It kind of depends on what it rhymes with, I think, sometimes. Anyway, neither, either, pretty much the same thing most of the time, but not always, of course. There are always exceptions to the rule. The first examples we had were about the me also. Someone who has the same experience as you. A me also experience or also me experience. In the golf example, it was also not me situation. I can't play golf. I can't play golf as well. So in that case, we can say me neither or me either. We do have some other options though. We can use things like neither, either, or nor, N-O-R. I would say nor is a lot less common in the olden days, like <laughs> 50 plus years ago. Nor was a lot more common. But these days, mm, depends on the situation, but I would say not very common. So let me give you some examples. First one we had already, I can't play golf. I can answer nor I, not really, very unlikely to say nor I, but I am anyway, me neither, or me neither, and me either, 
All of those work. I can't play golf. Me neither. I can't play golf. Me either. We also can say, I can't play golf. I can't either. So we can use the verb in there. We can use this with all three of them. So we can say, I can't either. I can't play golf, nor can I. Or I can't play golf, neither can I. Okay, but I can't neither doesn't work. So if you want to put the I can't first, it has to be either, E-I-T-H-E-R after it. If you want to flip it and put neither first, N-E-I-T-H-E-R, you can put neither first and then you put the can I at the end. I'll do some more. I can't afford it. Me neither. Or neither can I. Both of those work. This is a situation maybe, for example, someone you know is getting married and you didn't get an invitation. You maybe didn't really want to go, but that's kind of not the point. They should have sent you an invitation anyway, so you're a little bit peeved. That means annoyed. <laughs> you're a little bit peeved about the situation. So I wouldn't have wanted to go anyway. It means... You're annoyed about that thing, and who cares? Because I wouldn't want to go anyway. It's kind of a childish response. We hear that a lot with teenagers. I wouldn't have wanted to go anyway. We could say, me either. Neither would I, or nor would I. If we agree with the person, it's an also me situation, we can say, me too. If we agree with the person, but it's a negative situation, we're looking at also not me, which means me neither, or me either, works better. I feel like this is still confusing. Remember, you can always go to the blog, www.emmaseslenglish.com, and the blog will be supporting this. So this is all written down in the blog. So if you're getting yourselves confused, don't panic, go and have a look at it written down. And I'll write all of these examples down like I did last week for the grammar point. Ready for a test? Remember, you're always trying to agree with the statement. So whether it's positive or negative, the point of this grammar we're looking at today is that you're trying to agree with that. Okay, so first one. If I say, it's too expensive for me, how would you answer? It's too expensive for me. The answer is, me too. Next one. If I say, I can't go. What's the answer? I can't go. So it's a negative one. And we're agreeing with the negative. So I also can't. So I can say, me neither. Neither can I. Nor can I works, and we can also use me either. But I would say me neither is probably more likely for this one. I think, though, it's not a grammar rule. It's whether we like the sound of it or not, so you can't really go wrong. If I say, let's go out tonight, I would prefer pizza. The answer is... Me too! Alright, next one. The next two are both about pizza. I hate pizza. Also me too. Trick question. Finally, one more try. I don't want pizza. <laughs> me either. Neither do I. I don't want pizza either. <laughs> okay. Well done. Congratulations. You survived the experience. Any questions, let me know. Email me. My email is emmaseslenglish at gmail.com. You can visit the blog to get the examples written down at www.emmaseslenglish.com. I would love your English questions. And if this has been helpful to you, please do share it with your friends. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. Bye.